the White House uh, acknowledges that uh, Anwar al-Awlaki is dead. That is a doorknob. Uh, we uh, did a drone strike, we killed him. Now, do they acknowledge the drone program overall where we do targeted killings? Well, kind of. They give some speeches explaining why it needs to be done. They leak to the press secret stuff there, of course. It's highly classified that if WikiLeaks leaked, we would chase them to the end of the, end of the earth. If Bradley Manning had leaked, he would be facing a life sentence. But if it's helpful to the government, they leak it all the time to the press. Uh, but they say all this is incredibly top secret. And by the way, it's so secret, we can't even share the legal reasoning as to why we're allowed to murder U.S. citizens, I'm sorry, execute U.S. citizens without a trial or any due process. Now remember, Awlaki, as noxious as he might have been, was a U.S. citizen and was summarily executed. Okay, so they go in front of uh, New York Southern District Court Judge Colin McMahon. She says um, there were legitimate reasons to question the legality of uh, killings like al Awlaki's. Well, so that sounds pretty good. Wow, I mean, legitimate questions about why we might have killed him at all, right? Here's my favorite. She then says, government actions, quote, seem on their face incompatible with our Constitution. Hmm, that would be troublesome indeed. Guess what she does next? She votes with the government. She rules that, uh, well, you know, I can't get to the core issue because all these uh, documents are secret and the Freedom of Information Act does not cover uh, this particular drone program, so sorry, uh, we are not going to be able to let you know in on our very secret legal reasoning why we can execute U.S. citizens abroad without any due process at all. At least somebody's upset about this. This is Deputy Legal Director of the ACLU, Jamil Jaffer. He says, the way that the judge reads the law, the government can make these selective and self-serving disclosures about the targeted killing program, while at the same time maintaining in court that the program is a secret. There's a certain absurdity to that situation. Well, that's indisputably true, where the government says to media outlets they like, oh man, we got all these top Al Qaeda guys, we got them, we're heroes, we killed them, we killed them all, give us credit, give us a pat on the back. And then you say, oh really, great, and now tell me why you killed them. Oh, no, 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 can't do that, that's top secret, top secret. So, by the way, you know that of course, all of Lockheed's, uh son was also killed, 16 year old, now, was he targeted? Top secret. Well, did you mean to kill the 16-year-old did or did you accidentally execute him? Top secret. Now, why did you kill the 16-year-old? Not your motivation, but like your legal reasoning, top secret. Everything's top secret. So, right now, if you're a US, U.S. citizen and you go abroad, they can execute you and your family, etc., can never find out why they did it or on what legal grounds they've done it. And we just had another ruling saying, well, even though it clearly seems to violate the Constitution, yep, that's what we're going to continue to do. Welcome to Obama's America, which seems startlingly similar to the Bush America. Well, I'm glad we got that change.